So, good evening, uh, dear brothers. <clears throat> Last week, uh, we saw about a vision of the Keriya. <clears throat> Sixth chapter, where uh, Zakaria is shown a vision of the four chariots uh, with uh, four uh, different color uh, horses. Uh, you see? And uh, these horses uh, came in between uh, two brass uh, mountains. Uh, and as uh, Zakaria was uh, wondering <clears throat> what are the meaning of these things, uh, God uh, gave him a few clues that uh, the, uh, you see the, <clears throat> the black horses uh, go to the north country and the white horses follow the black horses to the north country and the red horses they came <clears throat> and uh, the grizzled and the bay horses uh, <clears throat> they went to south uh, to uh, south uh, country. So what is this uh, meaning of these uh, horses and what is the meaning of this one? We have uh, studied a uh, few things in the uh, last week uh, that uh, this has got uh, a deep uh, symbolic uh, meaning in the Bible. So, uh, so we know that, uh, you see, for the Bible, Bible is the dictionary. So each and everything we need to study from the Bible. <clears throat> so the mountains in the Bible represents uh, the kingdom and uh, <clears throat> the brass, uh, you see, uh, mountains, uh, uh, signifies uh, it is a human uh, kingdom which is uh, told here. So the two human uh, kingdoms uh, <clears throat> that is going to be established on earth is uh, first it was established in uh, Garden of Eden and the second thing is going to be established at the end of thousand years in all the earth. <clears throat> so in between these two uh, establishment of the kingdoms there is a time gap of uh, nearly 7000 years. In this uh, 7,000 year period, uh, what is the things uh, that is going to happen? How God is selecting the four classes of people that is what is represented by the horses uh, in this uh, study. So we have seen uh, about, uh, you see, uh, <clears throat> you see, uh, the God's uh, plan of the ages. In this God's plan, there are two salvations. Heavenly salvation and earthly salvation. <clears throat> in each of these salvation, there are two parts. Uh, Gopal Gardar, can you tell me which are the two parts in the heavenly salvation? Mm, uh, little flocks, which are one lakh forty-four thousand, and great multitudes. Very good. A little flock that is the one lakh forty-four thousand and the greater multitude. Good. So, which is the two parts in the earthly salvation? Ancient worthies and uh, world. Very good, brother. Super. So, the ancient world is in the world. These are the two classes of uh, people in the, you see, uh, earthly salvation. So, the first horse that came here was uh, uh, which color? Uh, if you see, it was the red horses. So, the red uh, horses, you see, uh, was the first uh, chariot that came with the red horses. So, this uh, represents the first class of people <clears throat> who are developed by God's Holy Spirit. So, if you see in the Bible, who are the first class of people who are developed by God's Holy Spirit? It is actually the ancient worthies. The ancient worthies are the people who are developed by God's Holy Spirit since the fall of mankind. So, we see <clears throat> this class is from Abel to John the Baptist. Okay. But how is uh, the red color related to uh, this ancient word is, uh, okay? So, Gopal Burda, do you have any idea? Last week we studied uh, how is the uh, red color related to this ancient word is. Do you have any idea, brother? Like uh, sacrifice of red heifer. Very good. And um, that represents ancient word is. Very good, brother. Excellent. <clears throat> so, the sacrifice of the red eifer. <clears throat> Where was the sacrifice of the red eifer done? Outside of tabernacle. Very good. But outside the tabernacle. That means it never entered into the temple of God. So they are not part of the church, but they are out of the church. <clears throat> okay. So they are uh, not part of the temple, the house of God, but they are uh, out of God, uh, so out of the temple of God. That means uh, even before the church came into existence, uh, they were sacrificed uh, uh, to God as a, <clears throat> you see, a pleasing sacrifice. Good. So, 
what 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 do they do with the ashes of the red eye fur any idea brother gopal brother they cleanse their self after touching dead bodies very good so they used to mix the ashes of the red eye fur with water and use the hyssop and the sprinkle upon the defiled person that is to cleanse them <clears throat> okay so similarly uh, the sacrifice of the ancient varis you see that used to be uh, mixed with the water water in the bible means what water means uh, word of god very good from the word of god we need to take <clears throat> the doctrines the teachings of, of the sacrifice of the ancient varis if we sprinkle that teachings upon has it has a purifying effect upon our character <clears throat> like for example last week we studied if we have so much of trials and the testing and so much of temptations you see and so much of sufferings uh, if you remember the sacrifice of job what happens within us <clears throat> what happens that gives us strength very good that gives us strength that gives us a purifying effect it helps us to stand for the lord it, it helps us to sustain and stand for the truth even though a lot of lot of sufferings we you see tend to have faith that god will never leave us god never left job you see he was one of the richest men of the east he lost everything but god gave him a double portion so so similarly the <clears throat> example of daniel we saw whenever we are feeling lazy to pray we need to remember daniel <clears throat> who prayed uh, thrice even though he was uh, threatened to put uh, into the lions den and if you have a temptation to sin whom should we remember joseph what did joseph do uh, he ran away yes he ran away from Forty first wife. Imagine uh, any youth will he run away from such a situation? A wonderful opportunity. But Joseph feared God, who was invisible, looking at uh, Joseph. Uh, you see, he told uh, what is there in the Bible that my master had given all the responsibility except upon you. <clears throat> okay, and he trusts me. He trusts me that I will take care of the entire thing. So I don't want to. break that uh, trust of my master you see so that was the faithfulness uh, of uh, joseph uh, and even when he was blamed uh, falsely and put to the jail did he fight for his cause did he put a case or did he quarrel with his master did he uh, you see stand for uh, uh, that uh, this is wrong that is wrong and all those things did he quarrel or did he fight no he surrendered to god's will but god uh, again lifted joseph uh, from the jail situation and brought him to be the prince of earth very good okay next time ha huh? is jacob <clears throat> the willingness to sacrifice for god you see jacob he was willing to give everything for god's sake and david you see when david committed sin ha huh? when nathan you see rebuked him what was the reaction of david did david correct himself or did david argue with nathan i repented yes he accepted his mistake he repented you see when nathan said you are that man immediately surrender to god i have sinned against god i have sinned against heaven and earth these are the words which immediately you see david reacted but king saul huh? what was his reaction he he argued with god he said no what i am doing is correct i did all these things for your sake Uh, doing everything for God's sake, without the way which God tells, is never pleasing to Him. So this is the difference between David and uh, King Saul. So uh, David uh, surrendered himself. Uh, therefore, these all ashes as an effect of purifying our flesh, our fleshly character. Then Moses, <clears throat> you see, Moses was supposed to be the Pharaoh of Egypt, uh, but even then. He sacrificed his situation. Good. So these are the red arses. Okay. So till here we are studied. So we are going to study and continue this week. And uh, next, which are the horses that came? If you see, the next horses that came with the black horses. Okay.
Read verse 6, brother. Uh, verse 6. Hmm. The black horses which are therein go forth into the north country, and the white go forth after them. Very and good. The... Very good, brother. Very good. So, if you see there, it says, you see, the black horses go forth to the north country. You see? And the <coughs> uh, white horses follow this black horses. <coughs> okay? So, dear brethren, uh, what is the meaning of black? Hmm? What is the meaning of north? <coughs> why this north? Why this black and orange given? What is the meaning of it? If you see, uh, what does the Bible say about north? Read Psalm 75, 6. Brother. Psalm 75, 6. <coughs> Psalms 75, 6. For, for, for a promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. Okay. It doesn't come from which place? Promotion neither cometh from east, west, then south. Which is the place that is balanced? Which direction is left over? North. Good. And that means promotion comes only from which direction? It doesn't come from south. It should come only from north. Okay. Why north? Because who is there in the north direction? See Psalms 48 2. <clears throat> Psalms 48 2. Beautiful for situation, but the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. On the sides of the north, the city of the great king. The city of the great king on the sides of the north. So, in the north direction, you see, uh, that is the seat of uh, God Almighty. Therefore, if you see in the Bible, you see, uh, what did uh, Lucifer desire? He desired that he will sit on the congregation of the north. Uh, because the north uh, in the Bible signifies... Uh, the heaven, heavenly direction. You see, that signifies the heaven where God is staying. Read Isaiah 14, 13, brother. Huh. <clears throat> Isaiah 14, 13. For thou hast said in thy, thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Ah, in the sides of the north. Why north? Because that is the place where our almighty God is residing. That is the place where heaven is. So always north. You see, north is always from the above. South is the below. So north means in the Bible, heaven. So... This signifies the heavenly salvation who go and partake the nature which God himself is having. You see, now you tell me, who are the people who are going to partake the divine nature? See, among the heavenly salvation, which class of people will get the divine nature? The little flock. One lakh Very good. The little flock, one lakh forty-four thousand. Very good, brother. So this black horse represents the little flock, the lakh and 44,000. So if you need to go to heaven to rule with our Lord, how do we go? How can we go? How should we go? We should go on the black horses. You see? So what does black mean in the Bible? You see, the black in the Bible means uh, suffering, suffering. Uh, Pain, you see, sorrow. That's what uh, black in the Bible signifies. Read Song of Solomon 1 5, brother. Song of Solomon, first chapter, fifth verse. Brother. I am black. But comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of the of Kedar, 
Kedar as the curtains of Solomon. Hmm. I am black. See? The, you see, the wife of Solomon. How is she? She says, I am black. But that time beautiful. Isn't it? Huh? Now, who does the, uh, the wife of Solomon here? Uh, the, you see, the beloved, uh, the, the loving uh, partner of uh, Solomon represents here the church. And Solomon represents, uh, you see, our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible says, now, Jesus said, no. Huh? So, wiser than Solomon is here. So, Solomon is a type of a Lord Jesus Christ. As Solomon had a thousand wife, similarly, Jesus is going to have a one lakh forty four thousand bride. It's not a literal and physically relationship, but it is the coexistence of both together doing the Lord's will. And how is the church? How is the wife of, you see, huh? the a bridegroom. How is the bride? She is black, it seems. Huh? Generally, if you see a girl, uh, what will the boys ask? Oh, she should be fair. But what is the condition of the wife of Christ? She is black, it seems. Why she is black? She says, though I am black, she is beautiful. She is beautiful in character. The beauty of character is there with her. her uh, okay, She is pleasing to the Lord. Okay? Now, why did she become black? Continue with us. Continue verse 6. Mm. Mm. Look not upon me, because I am black, because the sun hath looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but mine own vineyard have I not kept. Uh -huh. See, what does he say? Huh? He says, you see, Huh? The sun that looked upon me. So what is the meaning of sun? Huh? And it says, my mother's children were angry with me. <coughs> Who is the mother's children? Huh? That means uh, these are our brothers. Uh, huh? So these are the brothers who are hated. Uh, as, uh, who are our brothers? Uh? You see, the fellow Christians of this world. Uh, they are the brothers, no? See, in the 10 silver coins, what did you see? Huh? The woman rejoiced as soon as she got the lost coin and she told to her relatives and the neighbors. You see, relatives means who's who? The brothers, the sisters, everybody. You see, so the first thing the church has to do is to witness this truth to the fellow Christians. These are our relatives, these are our brothers, but they don't know the truth. Hence, they are living in darkness, in blindness. And when we go and witness the truth to them, will everybody accept it? Not many will accept it, but only few will accept it. But few people, what they will do? They will be angry upon us. Is as they were angry upon Jesus when he teached the teachings in the synagogue. Similarly, some people will be angry upon us. But uh, we should never be discouraged. Uh, therefore, he says, no, look not upon me because I am black. Because my mother's uh, children have hated me. Uh, don't look at me like that. Uh, your brethren. Uh, so these are the mother's children, our brethren. You see, they are blinded. But uh, we should be very thankful that our eyes are open. And we should pray for them. You see. We should put our efforts to tell the truth to them. That God may, you see, somehow open their eyes. It, if it is His will, He will definitely do it. Now, what is the meaning of the sun in the Bible? Huh? Read, <clears throat> Jesus tells about the sun in the parable of the sower. You see, we know about the parable of the sower that the seed went and fell into four different grounds. One was a, uh, on the wayside. The birds came and lifted up. Jesus gives the interpretation saying that the birds uh, represents the, you see, the devil, uh, the prince of the power of the air. He comes and takes away the, you see, uh, the seed. Then the second one represents, uh, you see, the, what do you say? Huh? It fell on the stony ground, it seems. Uh, so what happened? Read verse 6 for the first. Matthew 13, 6 for the first. First, uh, read verse 13, 6 for the uh. <clears throat> And when the sun was up, they were scorched, 
and because they had no root, they withered away. Mm. Because they had no root, they withered away. Why? When sun came up. What is the meaning of this one? Read verse 21. Jesus himself yeah, tells the explanation. Verse 20 and 21, brother. Verse 20 and 21. Ah. But he that receiveth the uh, seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet, yet hath he not a root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulations or persecutions ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. This very important verse, sir. He says, what is the meaning of son? Huh? He hears the word of God. With joy receives it. See? The classes, uh, you see, about the truth about hell, the truth about soul, the truth about three worlds, uh, the truth about uh, how to study the Bible, the truth uh, about Antichrist, the truth about Trinity, the truth about Lord's second coming, the truth about Lord's memorial supper, the truth about baptism, the truth about many important doctrines, uh, as we listen, it gives us a joy. The ten silver coins, uh, she got it, she rejoiced. That was the joy. But uh, this joy should be there with us forever and ever. But what was the condition? In 21 it says, you see, uh, when tribulation and persecution arise. Because of what? It says, because of the word. Because of the word of God, because of the truth, you see, what will happen? <clears throat> they might come, you see, persecutions. Our mother's children may hate us. But at that time, you see, we should stand. We should stand. That is the sun, you see. So, because of this sun of, uh, you see, tribulation, <clears throat> persecutions, uh, temptations, uh, all these things are there in this world. The church is black, it seems. Uh, that means she is in, in uh, what? Uh, in uh, suffering. Uh, but uh, we should remember one thing. How do we go to heaven? Can we go to heaven in bed of roses, brother? No. No, we can't go to heaven comfortably. What did Apostle Paul say? Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Uh, we should be very careful. You see, it is not so easy to go to heaven. Just by believing in Jesus Christ, we will receive salvation, but not heavenly salvation. How should we go to heaven? Read Acts 14.22, brother. <clears throat> Acts 14.22. Conforming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in faith, and we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Mm, through much tribulation, we should enter the kingdom of God. Much tribulation, not with much easy comfort. You see, no, it says with much tribulation. <clears throat> when we <clears throat> stand for the word of God, there shall be tribulation. It is through this tribulation we we should enter the kingdom of God. We should go only on the black horses. We can't leave the black horses and go to heaven. If you want to go to the north country, how should we go? We should go on the black horses. Read 2 Timothy 2.12. 2 Timothy 2.12. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Very good. If we suffer with him, we shall reign with him. If we suffer, so suffering means black. Huh? How is the <clears throat> van that takes uh, the dead body? Huh? Which, which color is the van of the, you see, funeral van? Which color is in your place? Huh? What is the color of the van who takes the dead body, brother, in your place? As usual, white, I've seen. Oh, uh, white, I see. Okay, <laughs> good. But in our place, <laughs> it's full, total black. You see, black van comes. Whenever some tragedy happens, they wear black clothes. 
in case of death they were black uh, morning so black always signifies uh, morning anyway it changes upon the you said geographical location of everybody good <clears throat> but the black horses represents uh, the little flock next uh, what did the verse say you see uh, there was a white horse that followed this uh, black horse system now who was the one who follow the little flock to the heavenly salvation is there any other class who go to the heavenly salvation behind following the little flock great multitudes very good brother that signifies you see the great multitude you see the white horses that follow the little flock is the great multitude so has got a Uh, as uh, anything got to do with uh, you see white and the great multitude yes you see in revelation 7 chapter we have studied about great detail about this one that they were wearing white robes and standing huh? where were they standing they were were they sitting on the throne or standing before the throne <clears throat> standing before the throne yes standing before the throne that means they lost the opportunity to serve the lord now hence they will be serving the lord as servants in his kingdom now god has given us the opportunity to serve the lord you see and to be faithful to him until our death we should never let this opportunity go we should never let our robe get dirty by the you see <clears throat> things of this uh, world are you see as we listen to the truth you see as we accept jesus as a savior god gives a robe of righteousness sir this robe of righteousness has to be kept neat and clean daily washing every bit blood of jesus christ whenever we commit any sin in our thought in our words in our action immediately what happens sir a spot comes on the white robe so what we should do we should immediately go and cleanse it with the blood of christ immediately we should pray lord this is a mistake because of my fallen nature help me to overcome give me thy grace sir give me thy kindness give me thy mercy i will prove more faithfulness to thee so this thing has to develop and keep on increasing and be faithful to death but the great multitude they neglect this fun they try to compromise so ultimately what happens they rob instead of maintaining it white it is completely full of filthiness and dirt that is the time dear brethren that uh, this robe has to be washed how by putting them into the great tribulation read revelation 7 chapter revelation 7 chapter uh verse 14 brother and i said unto him sir thou no know, knowest and he said to me these are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb mm. see they came out of the great tribulation and in this tribulation they washed the robe with the blood of christ why what has got the uh, tribulation to do with the washing of the clothes sir? you see they don't appreciate uh, the importance of the sacrifice of jesus so jesus sacrifice for whom he did not die only for christians he died for everybody but uh, telling that jesus died only for christians if you accept now only you will get salvation that is wrong that the rest of the people they don't have salvation they'll be tortured in hell this is a very wrong doctrine so you don't give that importance to the blood of christ uh, and don't approach him for all your you see sins then what happens uh, this uh, robe gets uh, dirty then you need to be going through lot of tribulation in your life uh, tribulation means what uh, lot of sufferings uh, you see god permits lot of uh, you see trials and testing in such person's life why not that he god hate them not that god doesn't not that god wants to destroy them or hate them it is only to help them how to to work out this salvation as they put into trouble 
that is the time <clears throat> they will remember christ and uh, appreciate the value of his sacrifice and come to god and turn to god that is the time that they will try to be faithful to god until their death but that time will be very late they would have lost the crown hence uh, that tribulation helps to wash their robe hence uh, this uh, white uh, signifies the great multitude of them so we better keep uh, our robe clean daily washing it uh, with his blood any mistakes in anything it will not let it be in uh, thoughts in words or in our deeds everything you see immediately we need to approach his throne <clears throat> seeking his mercy so this is the white horse now we studied about uh, all the three horses sir uh. now which is the horse that is left over which is the salvation that is left over we studied lakh and 44000 we studied great multitude we studied ancient verses now which is the last horse uh grizzled and bay horse uh so what does that signify which is the last salvation that is left over the world very good so the <clears throat> you see the grizzled and the bay horse uh, signify actually the worldly salvation therefore if you say it says uh, this went through the south country north means seven means south means what da? south means earth so these are the people who come to the earthly salvation so who will come to the earthly salvation <clears throat> all the people you see all the people who did not believe jesus christ you see they will all be resurrected on the same earth and come back to life and listen to the truth you see and uh, how will the you see age go in a thousand years will it increase or will it decrease in a thousand years decrease decrease uh, job 33 25 says his flesh shall be fresher than a child <clears throat> he shall return to the days of his youth so each and every mankind will again return to the days of his youth just imagine what you are seeing in the screen today if that thing happen literally you see in the world how beautiful it will be the other how people will rejoice just imagine so many people died in the Tur turkey earthquake imagine all the dead people if they come back to life if they restored again back to life <clears throat> so many people have died in ukraine war you see if all the people are restored back to the earth how will the people feel will they feel bad Oh, you! These people did not go to hell. Will they feel bad? No. They will rejoice. You see, the Turkey earthquake. A small child who was, uh, huh, in the you see, uh, in all the you see, crushes and all under the building, he was without water for almost three days. Sir. When he saw the water, uh, he was full of laughter, dear brethren. And seeing the child laugh, everybody were rejoicing. Huh? You see. nobody claimed that oh he's a christian he's a hindu he's a muslim you see nobody fought her nobody told that he's my enemy's child let him die no everybody rejoiced when we saw so many videos you see each and every child is being rescued each and every person is being rescued there is laughter 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 joy joy they are praising god why because a person is saved from death imagine if they are resurrected from death what will be the condition of this world dear brother they will rejoice therefore the uh, the ten silver coin woman told i have found the lost coin you rejoice with me it is not only joy for me this beautiful plan of god is not only for me it is for the entire world <clears throat> all the dead men will come back to this life this is the beautiful plan dear brother therefore you see in there are two types of horses given there you see grizzled and bay grizzled means what spotted that means the people when they resurrected on this earth they will be having that old nature but as they walk up in the highway of holiness slowly learning to the truth listening to the truth they will start clearing off all their evil activities <clears throat> they will leave all their you see filthy sinful activities it will take time to go the spots from them that is the uh, grizzled uh, horses meaning now what is the meaning of the bay horses we all know that uh, 
some people will go to second death also. You see? Huh? Some people will go to where? Second death also. Huh? This bay horses signify the people who go to second death. Read Zechariah 6, 7, brother. <clears throat> And the bay went forth and sought to go that they might walk to and fro through the earth. Uh -huh. And he said, Get your hands, walk to and fro through the through the earth. So they walked to and fro through the earth. Very good. Huh? This bay horses asked the permission of the Lord to walk to and fro through the earth. What is the meaning of this walking to and fro to the earth? Did anybody huh, seek the permission of the Lord to walk to and fro? Through the earth, like this one only. Do you remember anybody with that? Asking permission from the Lord to walk to and fro through the earth. Yes. Who? Uh, Satan. Very good. Where? And uh, uh, Job. Very good. Job 1 7. Excellent. Job 1 7. <clears throat> And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Mm. See, same. Satan sought the permission of the Lord to walk to and fro, up and down. That means these are the people having the character of the devil, the Satan. Trying to do evil in the God's land also. Even of God, God giving so much of grace, they want to do still evil activities in it. So what will happen to them? These will die a second death. Read Isaiah 26, 9. Mm. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. Uh, for when thy judgment are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Okay. When the judgments are upon the earth, uh, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Huh? Huh? Then continue with her. Huh? Okay, we'll wait for a while. Let let favor be showed to to the wicked. Yet will not will he not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness? Will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord? Ah, for the wicked, though you give him grace, he'll continue to do evil. These are the people who will go to second death. Therefore, you see, in Jesus Christ. There are two salvations, huh? heavenly salvation and uh, earthly salvation. Correct now? Huh? Now what did the God told to Abraham? I will make the sea and make the seed as the stars of the you see, sky and uh, sand of the seashore. seashore. So the stars in the sky represents what salvation? Heavenly salvation. Very good. Then the uh, seed, uh, sorry, the sand of the uh, C represents what type of salvation? Earthly salvation. That is what is given here. Okay. So, uh, this is about Zechariah chapter 6. Huh? Uh, Gopal brother, how do you feel? Is, is, uh, do you feel that the interpretation is correct? Mm, yes, brother. Very good. This is how the Bible has to be studied, brother. So, we usually have this type of studies. Okay. So, <clears throat> this, is just, uh, this is just not a ordinary, you see, simply it, uh, taking classes. So, this is all got uh, in-depth study. Lot of things are there in the Bible. So, each and every book, uh, see, it will be carefully studied. Lot of uh, studies uh, and mainly, you see, our target is to meet our Lord. You see, correct, huh? we, mm -hmm. Do we yes, want sir. to uh, rule with our Lord or not? Uh? 
Yes, definitely. Definitely, that is our main aim, brother. We need to live a life which is pleasing to Him. Okay, Lord bless uh, this words. Uh, any doubts? Any questions? You can ask, brother. Any any doubts? Any questions? Um, not, not for now, brother. Okay. I'll revise once again. Okay. Please revise. I'll send the notes also. So any questions, any doubts, or you you have, you can uh, let us know. Oh, sure, brother. Okay then. Thank you. So.